Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. I got my shirt on today. And I'm actually here at YouTube Space LA with my friend Robbie of the Mindful Diabetic channel. Yes. Have you changed your channel name? Well, it's actually, yeah, Mastering Diabetes is a new channel name. Okay. And, but really why Robbie is here, now that he's a good friend, he has diabetes. And I get questions all the time in the comments. People say, oh, I really would love to eat all that fruit you have, all those 10 bananas, all that starch eat, but I have diabetes, so I'm pre-diabetic. I wish I could eat like you. And I say, Go check out Robbie's channel. I'll paste the URL all the time. Almost every Thank day to these people. So I finally have you on the show. So let's talk about this. Yeah. Carbs and diabetes. They don't go together, right? I'll tell you what. So uh, I've, I've been living with type 1 diabetes since 2002. And I've been following a low-fat, plant-based, whole food diet since December of 2006. So it's over wow. 10 years now. And in that time period... I have never had an A1C above 6.4, with my current A1C at 6.0, and for a type 1, that's terrific. For type 2 diabetics, you want to be under 6.0. But the point is, I eat hundreds and hundreds of grams of carbohydrate every day, and my weight is fine, my blood glucose is very predictable, the amount of insulin that I take for the amount of carbohydrate I take is really terrific. So I'm sure there's not too many type 1 diabetics watching this, so I won't get into the specifics there. But in general, the point I want to make is that carbohydrates are not the problem for diabetics. So I understand the confusion that, okay, so I have high blood sugar, so why would I want to eat carbohydrates that have sugar? And, and sometimes if I do, I see a high reading, and I get that that's confusing. But the problem is not the carbohydrates that you're eating. It's, you actually have to take a step backwards. So the easiest analogy to understand is imagine you have a bathtub, and you're, you turn the water on, and then the, the, you'll just start going through the drain, like no problem. It just goes right to the drain, everything is fine. If the drain is clogged, the water starts to build up and build up and build up, and eventually it goes over the edge, okay? And it spills onto the floor. So think of that as sugar spilling into the bloodstream and the blood sugar is too high. So the problem there is not the water. It was the fact that the drain is clogged. So you'll see when you see a video on my channel, uh, so me and uh, Cyrus Kambada, we do this together, and our tagline is we're reversing insulin resistance via low-fat, plant-based, whole food nutrition. So insulin resistance is the cause of type 2 diabetes, it's the cause of pre-diabetes, and it's also prevalent for type 1 diabetics like myself. So it really comes down to that, and what is insulin resistance? That is fat stored in tissues that are not designed to store fat. So that is what makes it so the insulin doesn't work and you have a high blood sugar. So the way to solve that problem is not to just stop eating carbohydrates, it's to fix the fat and lower the fat. Yeah, let's diet. stop you right there. That's a lot of people okay. don't realize. It's with the cause of diabetes, and correct me if I'm yeah. wrong, is intracellular fats. Yes. That, that you got not from eating carbohydrates, yeah. but from eating too it's, much fat in your exactly. diet. Exactly. Yeah. That's what people don't realize. They didn't get diabetes from having too many potatoes and fruit. It's from too much fat. Yet the doctors often prescribe a low carb diet is the way to solve it, which yeah. I don't really fully grasp. It, it, it's crazy. I mean, it's absolute madness. And so, and this isn't like something that we're making up here. This no. Is, this isn't new. This is stuff that's in peer reviewed research dating back to the early 1900s. So we just did an, an online summit where we interviewed some of the world's leading doctors, including Dean Ornish, Michael Greger, Neil Barnard, and so many more. And they went, and we also interviewed Dr. John McDougall, and in his talk, he talked about how this science dates way back. And there's examples of Walter Kempner feeding people white rice, fruit juice, and white sugar, and reversing diabetes in a majority of those cases in, a, in weeks. And, this, and Dr. Michael Greger has so many videos on his Nutrition Facts channel showing that carbohydrates actually reverse insulin resistance when you're following a low-fat diet. Yeah, I remember reading Dr. Bernard's books, which I recommend his books about diabetes. He's talking about people who have been on diabetes meds for years, and once following his, his high-carb, low-fat, vegan diet program, they're literally off their meds in days, if not weeks. Absolutely. So, so I'm, a di I'm a diabetes coach, and I, me and, and Dr. Kambada, we work together. We have uh, group coaching programs. We run retreats. And in a majority of cases, Type 2 diabetes can be fixed very rapidly. But there might be some people out there who are watching this and saying, oh, you know what, I tried, I'm doing my best, and it's not happening right away. And that's okay, too. Some people, depending on how, how long you have had the condition, depending on how far it's progressed, uh, what sort of toll you've taken on your pancreas, sometimes it can take longer. 
And there's a whole barrage of tests that can be done to really assess how quickly you should expect to see results. But in a majority of people, you will see results instantly. And getting off medications like metformin and glipizide and stuff like that is actually a lot easier than people think. So we should tell people who think, you know, this sounds too good to be true. My doctors told me I'm going to be on my diabetes medication for the rest of my life. And these doctors know what they're talking about. Why should I listen to you and these vegan doctors who have some weird agenda? Yeah. So the reason to listen is because we have evidence-based peer-reviewed research showing people reversing diabetes in laboratory settings. So James W. Anderson did work at Kentucky in the 60s and people, he had them in a metabolic ward, he controlled their food. People, and in 14 days, people are off all their meds. Some of those people were on insulin. That's just James W. Anderson. Then you got Robinowicz, then you got Kempner, then you got Nathan Pritikin. So it's really, it's overwhelming. That's just the period of research. Then there's so many examples and testimonials. You can find some on my channel. You can go to the Forks Over Knives website, just type in diabetes. You'll see real stories of people that are relatable to you who have reversed their type two diabetes. You can do the same thing on Dr. John McDougall's website. He has video interviews, he has written interviews. And you know, when you subscribe, subscribe to our channel, we're gonna be pumping out testimonials on a weekly basis. So you got the period research, you got the success stories of real people that are here now like and alive. You. And, and, and absolutely, and yeah, you can check them out. You can watch out my what I ate videos and see how much insulin I'm injecting for eating upwards of 700 grams of carbs a day. Now, not everybody needs that. I'm very active. So, and I maintain my weight at that amount of food. But the point is you can watch my channel. You can see the insulin sensitivity for people who are living with type 1 and type 1.5 diabetes. I say, you know, if you, you are resigned to the fate of having to take diabetes meds for the rest of your life and you think this sounds impossible, there's no way it could be true. I mean, as you said, it, the results happen pretty quickly, yeah, within a couple of weeks. Yeah. So if you're resigned for the rest of your life, why not try something new for a few weeks or a month? Absolutely. What have you got to Give lose? Give it a try. Like, if you do some math, like, if you take 30 days and divide that by how many total days you live on the planet, just trying this diet for 30 days is like 0.01% of the time you have lived on this planet. And it's so easy, it's so enjoyable, you have nothing to lose. And I you guarantee you do it right, follow the recipes that these guys have in their book, you, you get, yeah. I guarantee results. Like we have, a, we have a free Facebook group. You can join our Mastering Diabetes support group. And I challenge people, if, you, if you're really skeptical, go ahead, post a picture of everything you eat. Put it in the group. The group's gonna tell you whether you're doing it right or whether you're not doing it right, and you will see results. Yeah, if you're not sure what to eat, if you're just discovering this video somehow on YouTube, you don't know much about whole food, high carb, vegan, plant-based diets, yeah, you can watch Robbie's channel, you can watch our channel here at Happy Healthy Vegan. We have tons of recipe videos for how many Angie said we have about Over maybe 50. 50 or so. It's amazing. We have our book, Keep It Carb Baby. So we'll, there's lots of resources out there to help you to get started on eating a high carb, low fat vegan diet. All right. Thanks so much, Robbie. Yeah. You, Thank you for having me. Wealth of information on this topic. That's why I haven't done a diabetes <laughs> episode yet because I've been wanting to <laughs> get together with you and do this because you are the man here. Thank you so much. So hit like, guys. Hopefully, you got something out of this video. If you learned something, if your life's been changed a little bit, hit like on this video. Share it with a friend who's yeah. diabetic or pre-diabetic and refuses to look into vegan diets. And stay subscribed for uh, more information and all sorts of vegan recipes and entertainment from Angie and me and other guests here on Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, hopefully you're just doing this guys. Start up now. Keep it carp, baby. Keep it carb. Round.